Hi there, so we're at uh, Chirk Airfield today in Northern Wales. This is where the um, UAS Storm Buggy is, um, is made and we're going to be testing out our wings with, um, with that buggy today. So one of the questions I get is why do we build like different wings? So we offer quite a few, uh, quite a few choices of wing that all work with trikes. So how do you decide which one, which one to choose? So, starting off with our newest one, this is the Riot. So, Riot 13, 13 square metre wing, um, wing area. It's purpose designed as a sub 70 wing. So, to be honest, this is probably the choice for the majority of people. It's, a, it's the all rounder, it's got um, good speed, great, um, great performance, and great handling. Um, it's quite a small wing, so it sort of carves around the sky. Um, it's Generally, it's a really good all-round, all-round trike wing. Now, if we carry on, so there's also the fly and the Rio. So, so yeah. So there's also the fly and the Rio. Now, the fly is the most basic option. So that's a single surface. You can see. It doesn't have as much um, aerofoil surface. The cross tubes are exposed on it. So it's a lower performance aircraft. It's a bigger wing area. This is the one for people who just want to get their feet off the ground. It's the least, it's the cheapest option. It's probably the cheapest way you can get in the air is get like an old Dacra on one of those and it'll be, it's, it's great for just flying, um, hence the name. Um, so big wing area, so slow flying, really forgiving stool, light handling as well, very, very sort of um, like playful to, to fly. Um, then also if you just want to, you, you kind of want similar characteristics to that. So again, you're looking for something quite floaty, quite slow flying, especially people that are coming from a paramotoring background. So we're used to, are used to slightly slower, floatier aircraft then the Rio 2 is also in 15 square metres um, wing area so again a bit bigger wing area than the Riot so a slower flying aircraft but just with a little bit more performance than the fly in every respect so you've got mylar leading edges you've got more double surface so you've got a more efficient wing, wing section so it's it's quite possible to switch the engine off and thermal with the Rio it, it is possible to do that with a fly as well, it's just you don't have such a good sink rate, whereas with the Rio it's quite easy to catch thermals and to go up with. Now the other one which we don't have with us today is the Puma. So the Puma is a bit more specialist than these three. That's really just to appeal to the people who are actually wanting to turn the engine off and soar it as a glider. So it gives the best performance out of any of them in terms of glide ratio, best performance out of any of them in terms of sink rate. So it's derived from a high performance hang glider and that means not only it performs like a hang, high performance hang glider, it also handles like a high performance hang glider though. So that means that it's a bit more of a sort of specialist taste and we'd only normally recommend those to people who have had experience flying that kind of wing as a hang glider before because then when they get on it with a trike they're quite at home. If people come in from a trike background onto flying a Puma it will fly in a bit of a different way to the way they're used to. It's more dynamic basically, it converts speed to height very efficiently, it's a little slower in roll than the other ones though, so it's just, it's easier to get um, pilot induced oscillation with that. So with the Riot, the Fly, the Rio 2 and the Puma, we've got a trike wing to suit every possible taste in what you want out of Sub-70 flying. Oh.